Hello, if you built a Bixby capsule for the phone and now are moving it to the watch, many times Bixby Views will just handle it and it'll reformat it perfectly for the watch. But not always. Sometimes there's some small changes you need to make. Let's take a look at an example capsule and see what changes we need to make. What is the text? Hello? And you can see it echoes the input and gives the date that the input was made. Now let's go try that on the watch and see what happens. We'll change the target to a watch. Start it again. What is the text? Hello. Uh-oh, we have a problem. The watch text was truncated. So how do we go fix this? Let's go see. So we look at this output view. What we've basically done here is we have this H box. And inside this H box, we have two V boxes, B box one and V box two. Makes a lot of sense. That's kind of Bixby best practice there for aligning text, right? So this is the value of the input. And this is just a little shortcut about how to put today's date on the screen. All right. The problem is with the watch, there isn't enough room to put two V boxes in. So how do I solve that? Well, with the watch, to give it room, I'm going to have to put two H boxes on top of each other and inside of each H box, a single V box. Let's see what that would look like code wise. All right, I'm going to put this alternate view here. Now it's all commented out. Control A, Control backslash. Now we got it. All right. Now look at this one line here that I've highlighted. If can device equals Bixie watch. That says, if it's a watch, do this. Now what I have here is I have an H box with one V box and then a second H box with one B box. If we go down to our else, I have an H box with two V boxes in it. So really the original code. So let's see how that looks if I run it. First of all, let's comment out this original view. Control A, Control Slash. Go back to the simulator. All right, reset, start on the watch. What is the text? Hello. Looks great. Let's just take a look at it on the phone just to make sure. What is the text? Hello. Looks the same way in the phone. All right, let's go back and take a look at the code again. So simple tip, I'm using this dollar sign can device equals Bixby watch to see if it's a Bixby watch. If it is, I'm altering and using H boxes with one single V box in them. Otherwise, my else, I have an H box with two V boxes in them. Now, if you're sharp eyed, you might have noticed this code and this code are duplicates. So, to really complete this task, I would refactor these out into macros. But I'm not going to do that for this short tutorial. And that is your Bixby Tech Tutorial of the Week.